Hey everyone, today's sketching day. So all you're going to need today is a white piece of sketch paper. You're gonna need a pencil. You're going to need an eraser. And um, because we're going to be making circles today and we want them to be perfect, we're gonna cheat. So grab something round. I am using a can of beans. We're gonna use the um, top of the can to trace. Um, so raid your cabinet, find something that um, is round about this size. And when you're ready, unpause and then let's get creative. Okay, so I'm going to place my can about here below the um, the center so I would say about for me it's three fingers and I'm going to just trace the can so there's my first circle then I'm going to skip a space and move up a little bit these um, circles are going to be going in a diagonal so the next one is pretty much the center of the paper. So it's the center um, going this way, and it's also the center going this way. And you can just eyeball it. Okay. And then I'm gonna do one more, right about there. So now we have three circles. Okay, so before we start shading our circles, I'm going to make what's going to be like the ground, a line that kind of grounds this. And I'm sorry, I moved my paper. There we go. Um, so kind of halfway through this first circle, I'm going to make a little line here. And then... You can use a ruler if you want. You can use another piece of paper if you want, or you can just eyeball it too. If, if it's easier for you, you can just place another piece of paper there. And then you're gonna just keep going. Okay, so there is my ground. I make this darker so you could see it. Okay. All right, so now we're going to start shadowing our first circle. So now I'm going to turn my pencil on its side. And I'm going to start at the bottom here. And watch me for a little bit first before you dive in. I'm not coloring it straight up and down. I'm kind of curving it this way. See, I got paint on my hands. Always have paint on my hands. Okay. So I'm curving it. Holding my pencil on its side. We are going to get messy today. And then when I get to this side, I'm going to curve it the other way. Do right about there. Okay. And then in the middle here, it's kind of almost straight up and down. It's not as curved. Okay, so we got the start of something here. Now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to smudge it. Now 
I barely have, well, I, I don't have that much left on my finger, but I'm just gonna smudge that around up here too, okay? But now I want it to be darkest towards the bottom, and there is this area that I didn't smudge because I want it to stay light right in here. So now I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna go back over this part, but just not as far this time. We're just gonna go back over it, same direction. We want it super dark towards the bottom. So I just went back through again. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back again, and this time I'm gonna push even harder, just really low. And I want you to notice something too, that my pencil marks, some are higher, some are lower. So you're not seeing like a perfectly straight line. That's what keeps it more blended over here. It's really narrow down there. Come back over it. Okay, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna give it a little swipe this way, smudge it a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my eraser and just before the line that we made for the circle originally, I'm gonna lightly just erase above it because that is gonna look like a reflection. I'm not pushing hard at all. You wanna start with a little, little bit of erasing. Okay, so that's a reflection at the bottom. Okay. There we go. All right, and now I'm going to do a shadow. So uh, just underneath here, I'm turning my pencil on its side again. We want it really dark where the circle is on the ground. come out a little bit lighter. I'm not pushing as hard. Okay, I'm going to take my finger. We're going to smudge that.
little shadow there. Just going around my circle again. And I am going to erase the little smudge marks that went outside of my circle. All right, so that's my first one. Now we're gonna do the same thing up here. So I'm turning my pencil on its side. So you're gonna be perfect at circles by the time we get to circle number three. You could twist your pencil when it's starting to get worn down on one side. Just twist it around. Okay. Take my finger, smudging that. And whatever's left on my finger, I'm just going to go around the top. I'm leaving that middle white. Okay. And now take my pencil and we're going to go back over it again, making it darker, not as high up this time. Blend it again. I'm going to do it one more time, darkest at the bottom. And remember, I'm not making it straight line, like straight across. It's kind of jagged, it, you know, some are higher than others. Smudging that. Sometimes it helps take a step back and look at it. See if you want to add any more shadows anywhere. And then once you're happy with it, then we're going to make the shadow again, okay? So this one, it's not on the ground, it's off the ground. But the shadow, because the ground is the same level, it's going to be directly across, okay? I hope that makes sense to you. So I'm going to take where my shadow is and just move my pencil straight across. And that's where I'm going to make my shadow. Turning my pencil on its side. Okay. 
I always start light and then just go darker as I go. This way, if you make a mistake, it's easier to erase. And then I'm gonna go a little bit lighter as I come out. Take my finger, smudge it in. Oops. I want this to look a little bit more roundish. So there we have it. I went up a little bit higher. Okay. So that's my second shadow. I get a little bit darker. There. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. And again with my eraser, I'm going to just erase anything that's smudged outside of the circle. Be careful. Okay. And then our last circle. Same thing, I'm turning pencil on the side, I'm curving in. This is what makes it look more round. Smudge it. Go around. Leave the middle lighter. Okay. I'm going to do it again. I love working with pencils and getting my fingers messy like that. <laughs> Smudging. And now my darkest layer. I'm going to erase my marks. I made a mess on this one. But the more you do the blending, the dirtier your finger gets. So I think that's why this one is so messy.
Okay, and now the last shadow. Again, we have to stay here because this is where the flat surface is. So. Make it darkest in the middle. And then we have to do our little reflection on both of these. We didn't do that yet. So you take your eraser and then you're gonna just use the corner of it lightly above that line Just gonna make a little reflection. And on this one. And then just go ahead and take a look at your paper, see if anywhere else needs a little erasing or a little more blending. And then after you clean it up wherever it needs erasing, you are all finished and you need to sign it. Okay, so I'm going to sign it right in the corner. And you're all done. Make sure you share your pictures with me. I'd love to see how your circles, your floating circles came out. And I'll see you next time.